So what we've got here is a common shore crab and um, like all the crabs, uh, apart from the hermit crabs that is, uh, that when they grow they need to take off their shells because it's an exoskeleton so huge. obviously humans, us guys, when we grow our, our skeletons grow with us but this crab's got a hard shell so when it needs to grow what it does is it splits open the back of its shell as you can see here and a, a crab which is all soft and gooey will crawl out from the, the back of its shell sort of flop out and just get it a bit wetter again and can you see its legs are starting to come out now and the whole thing will come out from inside of its shell and all it will leave behind are its gills um, and just an empty shell and then the crab will swell up and harden a new shell over a, the next few hours perhaps into tomorrow and then once it's hardened its shell it just shrinks back inside slightly almost like having a pair of shoes that are slightly too big so that it can grow into its shell until it's ready to, to, to swell up, split open the shell again. Can you see? And its legs yeah, are legs coming are out. out. So I don't, yeah. want to, I don't want to force it or anything, but if I just turn it around like that, you can see. So what we're left with now are just these empty, this empty shell, almost like a suit of armor, yeah. Can you feel that though? He can, he can probably feel himself coming out. So I just need to keep wetting him because that makes him weightless when he's in the water. So it's a lot easier for the crab to do what it needs to do. There you go. Can you see his legs just wiggling? And it'll just slowly wiggle its way out. Yeah. And, it's, and it'll be so soft that it won't be able to stand up under its own weight. So they would normally do this by, they'd hide first somewhere really sort of secluded in behind a rock or underneath some seaweed. Um, because whilst they're really soft, like they will be for the next at least several hours, um, pretty much every single thing in these rock pools can eat it. Can you see its little legs popping out? And you can see how weak they are. They just really can't even hold up their own weight. I'll just wet them again. So it's very nearly out now. Just the last two couple of legs and then it's claws. And what we'll be left with then is a slightly bigger soft crab or people call them peeler crabs. Um, and that just, that's just what they've just peeled off their shells basically. Um, and we'll be left with an empty shell, which as soon as he's out, I'll be able to show you. A lot of people will say to us sometimes, oh, I found loads of dead crabs on the beach. And they'll show us what are just empty shells. Uh, and it's quite the opposite to a dead crab. It's actually um, just an empty shell. So it's a sign of a healthy crab, really. A crab that's growing quite naturally and um, casting off their shells. This is about the time of year that it normally happens, um, when the weather gets a little bit warmer. Uh, and this is a female, and uh, in fact, it's a male. When the females shed their shells, that's when the males can actually mate with them then. So you'll often find a male holding a female underneath its body. Uh, and if the female's shell is hard, the male is waiting for that shell to, to peel. And they give off a hormone um, to attract the males. And the males will then protect them until they shed their shells, then they can mate. And then the, the, the male will protect the female until its shell hardens again to try and give its uh, offspring the, the best chance of survival. I'm a jellyfish. There you go, so the crab is now out of the shell. Very gently. So that crab is so weak now, it can't even you can see its legs are really soft. And all we're left with is what looks like a dead crab, but actually it's just an empty shell. So these are its gills. So it's got new gills inside its new body. Uh, well it's not a new body, this is the this is the sort of the crab that lived inside the shell. And it's all very very soft so I've got to be very delicate with it. You can't stand up um, and that, that shell will slowly harden and um, once it hardens then the crab will be able to go back about its business again and get out there and start hunting. But at the moment it's pretty defenseless. Um, it really is <laughs> about as defenseless as a creature can get really because these rock pools are quite savage. There's all kinds of creatures in there that would eat that. All the fish, other crabs uh, and bass particularly like the taste of a crab when it's uh, in this soft form as well. So that hormone that, um, that they give off to attract a mate is also that hormone to a bass is the smell of a free lunch. So people often will use peeler crabs or soft crabs as they are as bait for catching bass. Um, I don't know, it depends if you like doing that sort of stuff or not. But um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's an amazing thing. We've probably only seen that two or three times um, when we're with a group. And we rock pool probably about 40 times a year. So that's quite a special thing to see.